friends, I'm Jeff here and welcome to my corner and welcome to the world of Vivar. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, about 10 months uh, or almost closer to a year and Ivar is now uh, one year and seven months. Um, not much happened, uh, he's just, uh, he's just a, a, a great dog and uh, a lot of fun. We also moved uh, to, to Ohio, uh, we used to live in, in near Dallas, Texas and now we moved to Ohio and uh, we also have a little bit of a we, we purchased a property about seven acres so we got plenty of space uh, for the dogs to roam around now i don't know if you remember last year about us or about me talking about getting another one another malinois and uh, we gave that some serious consideration and uh, because our other dog the other two dogs we have uh, zep and bell they're up there uh, zep is uh, 14 going on 15 bell is somewhere around 13 going on 14 and uh, they're not going to be there forever and also they don't like him they still don't like Ivar don't want to play with him don't want to have anything to do with him and I feel kind of feel kind of sad uh, that it happened because he wants to play and, and they don't so the wife and I uh, well I was, <laughs> I was able to persuade my wife uh, to get another Malinois and uh, this time a female and uh, not that I want to breed uh, Malinois or anything, but I think if I would get another male, I think that would be uh, looking for trouble because they're they're pretty uh, headstrong. So I don't really want to get into that now. Now getting a female, that's uh, opening another can of worms. So, but we'll deal with that when when we get that far. That's his favorite thing: is licking your ears. Don't know, but that's that's all he does. It's all day long if he if we would allow him. Anyway, so we contacted uh, the same breeder again uh, where we got Ivar because I don't want to go anywhere else. Uh, Ivar is just a fantastic dog and uh, the kennel we get him from in Belgium uh, just uh, delivers a first rate product. So it's, um, yeah, uh, she uh, basically now uh, we are ready to pick her up. So tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get up real early and then drive all the way to Chicago. It's gonna be about a six hour drive and then hopefully everything will come together. Uh, hopefully all the paperwork uh, is in order and then uh, we'll just bring her home. Uh, the pup is uh, about close to four months, uh, three three months and three weeks I think. So uh, we're all looking forward uh, to uh, have the addition, uh, a little addition to the family. Don't know how he's gonna react. Uh, hopefully he will be his, uh, his self, huh? like his, his, his gentle self, but we'll see that we have the weekend in front of us. So lots of time to experiment, but uh, that's where we are right now. Uh, very excited, like we were when we picked him up. And I are gonna be on the road uh, all day tomorrow. Uh, we see Lance or in Chicago around two, two o'clock in the afternoon. And then it probably will take another hour <laughs> if we're lucky to get him out of there and uh, get all the papers uh, in order. And then it's uh, six hours back. So we don't expect to be back before nine or 10 uh, tomorrow night. So, but that's it guys. Uh, I'll, like I said, I will keep you guys posted uh, along the trip. I'll, I'll make a little video of this and then, uh, yeah. Uh, Really excited to get another Malinois, so uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hello friends, uh, we're at the uh, outskirts, we're at the outskirts of Chicago. Uh, we have about 19 more miles to go. Uh, it's been a long day, uh, a lot of traffic, and uh, so uh, we're getting closer. And so hopefully everything will go smooth from now on. We still have a, a lot to do uh, from our experience with Ivar. There is a lot of still paperwork that that has to be exchanged and some fees have to be paid. And then when the plane lands, they still have to transport Scout uh, to the uh, the cargo area. So I don't know how long that's going to uh, how long that's going to take. But uh, yeah, we're almost there. So uh, once we're there, we're, once we pull up and uh, we're at the building, uh, I'll give you some more information. But uh, quite excited. So I'll talk to you later.